are doing today again we are here with a new laptop this is a brand new uh, I just want to show you guys how to disassemble and how to do your own maintenance for this model this is an HP laptop and the model it's an I believe is HP 15 uh, it is HP 15 dash BW 005 I'm gonna do I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see what's inside so let's flip it over we're gonna remove these two screws and also there is some screws under this plastic leg right here you don't have to remove the whole thing just one side one corner right there and this end the front side too all right there so let's go ahead and remove those screws all right, now that we remove the screws i think we can pull out the cd-rom slowly because it holds it right from that screw right there this is your cd-rom if you want to upgrade change you can just do it but make sure you change the cover front plate and next we will, let's just go ahead and remove the battery you can do this at the first this is a one two three. i believe it's a three cell battery it's not four because it feels like a very light and the battery cells are this size so one right there two three here it's empty you can just feel that i can push in just goes in this side so this is a three cell battery all right now that we remove the battery there's two more screws under the battery we have to remove these two. Oh, there's one more right in the front end and then we remove the battery and uh, the screws open it up you want to grab yourself a guitar pick and you want to show this one right in between the black and the gray cover and just twist it around don't use a screwdriver you want to scratch it always use a guitar pick All right. now we loosen up the sides you're gonna flip it over and this way flip upside down lift up the cd-rom side gently don't yank it up just go slowly make sure you lift up the cd-rom up but this side you have to pull it a little bit towards the outside and wiggle it around and it will come out eventually so there we go hmm. at least we have a tube piping in here for a heat sink which is good uh, gpu is not installed let me zoom in so you guys can see it this is where the gpu goes and the vrams right there and this is the cpu and the heat sink right there and the fan and you have a, your wi-fi board right at the end your two ram dims your hard drive right there on the bottom end there is your speakers the only fact that i don't like it the ventilation I haven't opened the ventilation right in the case it's supposed to be right here where the fan goes but the holes are right over there and the hair has to suck in from the mid go through the fan and out which is not good for a cpu but it is good for other components but they are not installed so it's pretty much useless and the only the thing that heat up in the here is the hard drive and the cpu the rams they don't it doesn't matter too much if you want to repaste you have to remove these four screws on the cd-rom and the heatsink i mean so let's go ahead and remove those once you remove those four screws you go ahead and lift up the heatsink i don't like it because they don't use a uh, direct copper contact with the heat cpu which is way better than the other metal that they use here aluminium i'm guessing but the copper is way better conductivity than the aluminium we're gonna clean up the thermal paste on this one grab your 
alcohol. And it starts just rubbing over. This is an AMD CPU. Now that's clean. I use, I'm gonna, you cannot use an Arctic Silver, I mean liquid metal on this heat sink because it's not a copper. You can put a liquid metal on the aluminium. So that's a disadvantage right there. Uh, you just grab your thermal paste. I use an Arctic Silver 5, which is one of the awesome thermal paste that we have. Now, before putting it down, like, uh, I recommend to grab the heat sink and just lift up this springs right there. Lift it up just a little bit in 45 degree angles. So it gives you a better tension. Huh. They messed it up here or they just did it on purpose? This is kind of, I think this is a fault in the fabrication fault because you can see there is a aluminum thing legs right here to go around the holes for the screws right there and this end I don't have any it's not broken it just really filed off so I just have the spring in here and this end at least I have the spring and then the holder it doesn't make a big difference but it is notable. Anyway, so let's put it back together. Put it down. I'm not gonna clean the fan because this is just brand new. And then put the screws back in. There you go. And if you want to replace your hard drive, you have to remove the one screw right there. This is for the caddy, and you cannot just lift it up, you can actually you could just slowly pull it out in 45 degree angle. And this is your hard drive. This is a Western Digital one terabyte, which is a good brand, it's not a Samsung brand. A mechanical hard drive for Samsung are the worst. Put it back down, put the screw. Uh, we are almost done. If you have any question, if you want to take out the keyboard, the keyboard, it's really pain in the ass to remove it, but there is no screws. You have to remove all this plastic melted stuff right here. Yep, let's put it back together. So put the cover back down. Just press the corner, don't press in the middle. Now go ahead and put the CD-ROM in first. Now put the rest of the screws back in. All right, last thing last, put the batteries in. Just slide it in from the back side. And you're all done. I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, thumbs up. Just click that like button. And if you have any requests or questions, just ask them in the comments below. And I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next video.